with the bad and in with good gut habits in 2024. Dietitian and nutritionist Kristen Fuller is joining us to talk about her new program, Working to Heal Most Problems. And we were just talking in the break. Gut health is a buzzword right now. Everybody is talking about it, and especially with the new year. Yeah. Give us a little bit of background. How can you know, you know, where you're at with your gut health? Yeah, for sure. A lot of people won't think it's your gut until they have some really big symptoms, like your body's really talking to you with IBS or bloating or constipation. But symptoms can start as early as insomnia, um, skin irritations, um, unintentional weight gain, um, things of that where people don't assume that's your gut until it kind of gets worse. So your body's always talking to you. So that's kind of why we should always be aware of what we should do with our gut and how to help it. And how we can help it. There are some steps that we can all take yeah. to learn more. Yep, and I made them really easy. I just did four R's and we could talk about them real quick. The first one is repair. And this one I think is the hardest for us because we're all anxious and wanting to do something, right? Like right away, but it actually is like the pause. We have to let our gut rest. So this could look like a cleanse of some kind, maybe um, just having a bone broth, just giving your gut lining a break to repair itself. Because if it's not ready to take in all the nutrition, then it's not gonna be absorbing from the good food and the healthy choices we're making anyway. So it's kind of a waste of time whether you're eating super healthy or not. If your gut lining can't help, then it's not gonna give you any type of nutrition. Kristen, I feel like this can be a little bit overwhelming because you can feel like you need to change everything or do a do a juice cleanse for right. seven days. And so, where do you say that it's good to a good place to start? Yeah. So all these steps are temporary. This is not for the rest of your life. So the cleanse, I recommend doing one to two days to give that mm. gut lining a pause. And that's drinking bone broth. Maybe that cayenne lemonade will help. Something very minimal to help your gut repair and get the bios back working. And then going to the next step, removing. And this is the part that people kind of get excited about. It's like, oh, I could do something, you know, right? We're all doers sometimes. And this would be taking kind of going through the elimination diet where you take those inflammatory foods out, like the gluten, the soy, the dairy, the things that we know cause inflammation, we can remove those for a short time as our gut is healing as well. Okay, then moving on to the third yes. R. So that one is re-inoculating, is reintroducing, I know, R's are a tricky <laughs> word, I wanted to fit with the and R's. And say that word again, I don't think I've heard this word before. Re-inoculating? Yeah. yeah. So you're, so re like you're reintroducing. reintroducing, yep. You're reintroducing these high bacteria foods. So I was on here and we made pickled onions last time. Um, apple cider vinegar will help rebuild these gut. That's when you do the probiotics, the prebiotics, and depending on your gut balance will depend on how far we take that of what we reintroduce to your gut after it's been wiped kind of clean. I have a question though. What if you started with those things first without the other two R's like removing and resting? Yeah, it would help your gut for sure. All of us can have good gut bacteria introduced back in. My only worry is when you're not, when you're just kind of, oh, I'll take this probiotic or do this or that, you're gonna feed the same bacteria that you already have. And we're really trying to shift the ecosystem within your gut. And so that's where you have to kind of the pause and the removal. So you're not just feeding the stuff you already have because we have to have that balance and that's the trickiest part. Oh, that's important to explain, thank you. It's yeah. all about balance and I love that you are breaking it down for us because this can seem so intimidating, it but is. you, these four steps are amazing. What is that last one? The last one is just a rebalance. Now this is something we all have heard about nutrition is it's managing stress levels, it's getting on a workout regimen, it's eating balance. So once we have done all those steps, a lot of people that have had food intolerances, things they just have assumed this is their life now, they've been able to reintroduce those kind of food groups back in. And so it's just being able to maintain that gut flora. And maybe this is a four step process you do every January and just kind of a reset. Maybe your symptoms are so extreme that we have to go on the program where you, I really teach you exactly what you have to eat to, to rebalance your gut. Whatever your symptoms are, you can take these four steps wherever you begin. And Kristen, you do make it really simple. You have these tests I've seen on your website of different things that you might need and what you suspect. Yes. Explain what those tests are. Yeah, so this is actually a stool test and I love this it gives me the exact balance of what your micro gut biome is so then we'll have more info mm -hmm. to know oh, I'm gonna hold that up thank you um, so you have more info to know which bacteria you guys are missing 
and know which probiotic to then help grow your good bacteria again. Okay. So it just gives me more info on you. This and, is yeah. I'm so excited. This is amazing because, like I said, you're just making me feel empowered, which is what you're doing with your program. Where can our viewers find you? Yes, so I'm on Instagram. Here's my website. Instagram is at ia.choose.healthy. I'm giving you 10% off for the program. I give you lots of guides, everything you can think of to be successful with repairing your gut. Kristen, thank you so much. You can get that kit mailed to your home today and then get that program going. And yep. thank you for the code for 10% yep. off. Yes. Thank you so much.